Hey guys and gals, today's our next Fear Buster lesson. Today we're going to bust fear with courage. And we're going to explore the promised land with Caleb and Joshua in Numbers chapters 13 and 14. Today we're going to do our Bible story a little different. As I'm reading it, when you hear the word go, I want you to run in place. And when I say the word stop, you stop running. God's people, the Israelites, were close to the land that God had promised them. Moses chose 12 men to go explore the new land. The Israelites couldn't wait to hear what the promised land was like. Once inside, the spies stopped to check it out. God's promised land was beautiful. Everywhere they would go, there was good food, and the land was amazing. But they stopped when they saw the giants in the land. When the spies came back to give God's people a report of the land, ten of the spies were very scared. They said, the people are so big and they're so strong for us to go in. They said that the giants would stop anyone who tried to go in their land. We're like little grasshoppers compared to them, they cried. But two men, Caleb and Joshua, said, Do not be afraid, guys. God said he'd be with us. He wants us to go into the promised land. But everyone stopped listening to Caleb and Joshua. Instead, they listened to the ten scared men. All the Israelites let the fear of those ten men spread to everyone. The Israelites had forgotten God's word when he said he'd be with them. God told Moses, because these people don't trust me, they will not go into the promised land. So the Israelites had to stop their journey to the promised land. For 40 more years, God's people walked around the desert. Finally, many years later, all the people who had not remembered God's word were gone. Caleb and Joshua were still alive, though, and God rewarded them by allowing them to go into the promised land. Caleb and Joshua never stopped having courage. They knew they were doing the right thing, and they also knew God was with them. The Israelites listened to the ten men and their fear instead of listening to God. Because of that, they did not get to go into the promised land. When we're afraid, we can stop and remember that God is with us. He's going to help us do the right thing. We just have to have courage and believe. In our story today, who had courage to do the right thing? That's right, Caleb and Joshua. Was God with the Israelites the whole time? Yes or no? You're right. Yes, he was. And he's with you too. What happened to the Israelites when they let fear control them? instead of having courage and believing in God. You know, it's sad, but they didn't make it into the promised land. God wants us to be strong. He's got things for us. He's made us promises, and He'll keep them if we believe. As I was reading my Bible, I came across a verse in Hebrews, and it says, The Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. People can do nothing to me. That verse reminds me to have courage when I'm afraid. God loves us and he promised to help us. We can hold tight to that promise always and forever. I love you guys. I'm very excited about what's coming up next. Starting Sunday, we get to start celebrating Easter. And Easter is the best day ever. So be on the lookout Sunday for our Easter lesson as we put a short pause on Fear Busters as we get ready for the best day ever. Before we say goodbye, I want to go over our memory verse for Fear Busters. Look at the pictures and let's say it together. I 
prayed to the Lord, and He answered me. He freed me from all of my fears. Psalm 34, 4. Y'all have a good week, and I'll see you Sunday.